Go sing! Go sing! Ho ho! Woo! Ho ho! Woo! <laughs> Well, I've been playing Tekken like all my life, but competitively I started in like the middle of Tag 2, so around 2014-ish, um, and I've been playing competitively since then, and I think I've kind of like built up and improved more in Tekken 7. One time it was Spaghetti Rip Street, and that was the first time I ever like uh, watched uh, like proper Tekken, and um, he actually asked me to come down to a local one time, he would take me there, and that's how I kind of got like, uh, I became more aware of the Tekken community in general. Um, it was a bit frightening at first, because I didn't really know many people, so it was kind of awkward for me. But um, throughout the years, I've kind of got to know more people, a lot more people know me now as well. So it's kind of just a thing of getting used to, and eventually you just become more like, uh, it just comes more natural to you afterwards. I think offline, I enjoy offline more than online, definitely. Um, in Tag 2, I used to play Law Armor King or Double Laws. But now I just stick mainly to law. But um, I am looking out like for other characters like Shaheen or uh, Katarina and me. But mainly law in general. The community has grown significantly since Tag 2. I mean, the community was really small. Not many people used to play the game, mainly because of how hard it was. And people just weren't bothered to learn the game. But now I think that Tekken 7 has become a bit more like compatible for... Um, and more like casually... Um, like, more casuals are starting to come into the game. It looks more appealing towards um, the audience as well. So I think the community has grown in that aspect. Um, and it's a new game as well. The game is only, like, what, a year old? And the community is thriving from, like, the UK. And you can see in other countries as well. When I went to, like, Spain, Barcelona, and Poland, you could see, like, every community is starting to grow a lot more compared to Tag 2. Yeah, yeah, so recently I went to Barcelona last week, and a couple weeks before that I went to Poland as well. Poland, I really enjoyed the weekend. Um, in general, it was really fun playing against everyone I could. Um, I played against Mikal, he's like apparently one of the top players in Poland, and obviously against Kokoma as well. Uh, that was really um, a pleasure to play against him as well. Apparently, you used some distraction. Yeah, the Kokoma picture, yeah. Uh, one of my friends just told me, or I was watching a stream. And Kakomo was doing this weird cosplay. I, did, I didn't know the context or anything. And I just thought, this is funny. So I'm just going to screenshot this. And then one of my friends were like, you should show this in the stream. I'm like, nah, that's a bit like disrespectful. But I thought, I'll just do it anyway. Then um, I think I came top 16. Um, oh no, just out of top 16. Um, I lost to Acid. Um, first I lost to Kakoma. Yeah, yeah. The, Asim game was close. Kokomo was also close as well, but I just lost. And yeah, I mean, I just have to hold that L. But I've learned for next time. It's just in high pressure situations, I get really nervous. But I think I've kind of learned to control that and just find my way through the nerves. And how, now, fast forward to Barcelona. Barcelona, honestly, apart from the tournament, that was one of the best weekends I've ever had. I've had so many laughs, met all of my friends, um, and it, it was just a lot of banter. Uh, I was just, and I lost my voice like, that weekend as well. I was just screaming my head off, and I was laughing so much. I haven't laughed like that much like, ever in my whole life. So, so you're talking about the community. Yeah, yeah. Like all of my friends. That's what I mean when I talk about the community. Like that's what I really care about when I come to competitive tech. And it's not about if I win or lose. It's more about just meeting up with everyone, chilling, and uh, just having banter. Um, I think my next TWT tournament will be versus fighting. So that will be like in a couple of weeks in Birmingham. And after that? Barcelona, I think Copenhagen the week after that. Uh, for Headstompers. And then I think CT in Dublin. Go down to the mix-up? Oh yeah, maybe. I might go down to the mix-up in Lyon. I went there last year as well. That was a really good tournament. It was really well organized. And uh, the stream was good as well. I really enjoyed that tournament too. Now, <laughs> right. I mean, it is a bit of a struggle, I'm not going to lie. Um, but you have to try and balance it out as much as you can. And I think organization is key, because um, I'm studying at university and I'm also working as well. So it's kind of like I have to balance my second time with studying 
and then I have to go to work as well, so I kind of have to make like a timetable for myself. So I think the best thing to do is someone is trying to get into the competitive scene, but it's also has like other priorities and commitments, just balance your time. The best thing you can do is just organize yourself and make sure you prepare yourself and always prioritize what is um, most important to you. So studying is also most important for me. So I prioritize my studying as much as I can before I delve into like uh, tech and or um, also work is a co another commitment I have. So I kind of have to manage my time around work as well and study. So the main thing I would say is just organize yourself and prioritize what needs to be prioritized. I think, that, honestly, the East London lot, East London fighters is a really sick community, honestly. we got really great people here. Um, the community is thriving as well. So many people here. It's so much fun to be here as well. So casual, so chill. Um, it's not always intense. Like, when you're in a tournament, you're always uh, nervous and you're always really in that mindset of, I want to win. But when you're with, like, the ELF gang, it's just really chill, really relaxed. Everyone is just wants to have fun. Everyone just wants to play. Um, they treat everyone well as well. I mean, we're all just chilling together, always having fun. Um, so yeah, I'd say East London Fires is honestly a really cool community to be. With. If you guys haven't come down to East London Fires, come down. It's so much fun. Um, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Loads of people come down here as well. You got loads of decent Tekken heads here um, from London. Uh, some people also come down like from different cities around the UK from time to time too. So I say definitely come down and uh, if you want to chill, just chill. If you want to practice, yeah, uh, you can do whatever. East London Fires is honestly a great place to come to.